Hi, in this video, I'm gonna go over the basics of using Miro. Miro is a great digital whiteboard app that allows you to run workshops remotely. And it has everything that you would need like sticky notes and voting dots. And I'm gonna show you the basics of how to use it right now. So this is an example of a Miro board and you can even get started without creating an account if someone shared a link with you. And this is what you would see when you first open it up or something like this. So I'm just going to dismiss this getting started guide and take you over the five basics that you really need to know to use Miro proficiently. So the first one is panning around, which just means knowing how to move around the board, left and right, up and down. And to do that, if you're on a trackpad on a laptop, you simply scroll uh, in any direction to move in that direction. If you're on a computer using a mouse or a keyboard, you just hold the space bar and you see this hand icon and then you can click and grab to move around. The second thing you need to know is how to zoom in and out. That will make it easier for you to read something that is small or zoom out to see the entire board. Again, if you're on a laptop, you can just pinch to zoom in and out just like you would on your smartphone. If you're on a computer with a mouse and keyboard, uh, you can just scroll uh, on your mouse wheel and that should zoom in and out. Additionally, you can hover over this area here near the bottom right and click the plus button to zoom in and the minus button to zoom out. The third thing you need to know is how to edit a sticky note. If you're part of a workshop, then chances are you'll be working a lot with sticky notes. So to edit a sticky note, all you need to do is double click and then start typing words. And this is where zooming in and out becomes very useful so that you can make the text larger and focus on the sticky note that you're typing. The fourth thing you should know is how to move objects around. So like sticky notes or voting dots, and to do that, you simply click and drag to move the element. So you can move a sticky note like this, or you can move an image like this. And that's pretty much it. The last thing that's useful for you to know is how to use the raise hand feature. That way, if you're working with a facilitator, you can let them know that you need help. And the way you do that is from near the top right over here, you click on reactions, then you click raise hand. And you can lower it once you're done. And as a bonus sixth thing you should know, if you do something accidentally and want to undo it, you can simply click the undo button near the top left or just press Command Z or Control Z, depending on your computer, to undo that action. So those five things are really everything you need to get started using Miro. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps you get started with Miro. See you next time.